Hey guys. I'm going big box store shopping with the family. I'm really excited to see what they have available these days. And yeah, I thought I'd take you along with me for my first time back. So it's bound to be awkward. <laughs> anyway, before we get into that, here's a quick 60 seconds for the sponsor of today's video. Huge thank you to Scentbird for making this video possible. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service where you get a 30 day supply of a new designer fragrance each month. They are a flexible subscription service, so there's no penalty if you decide you want to skip a month and you can also upgrade to get two or three cents if you'd like some options. There is also actually a quiz where they'll ask a little bit about your scent preferences and recommend new fragrances for you to try based on that quiz. It's been a really great way to get new perfumes to try out without committing to a full-size bottle or stress about taking one out in store. I gotta say, okay, I have my little things here that I got this month. They're so cute. So you just twist it like this and there you go. <clears throat> I shouldn't have done that right in my face. <laughs> Didn't think that one through. What I love is the twist top. You don't have to worry about it spraying or a lid coming off or anything like that while it sits in your purse or your pocket or whatever you keep it in. And the colors are so cute. As far as perfumes go, I'm someone that has definitely had my one or two signature scents that I've just worn forever. And sometimes I just find myself needing a change. A perfume through Scentbird is a great way to do it. The four scents I got this month are Oscar de la Renta, Bella Blanca, which has top notes of jasmine, lychee, musk, orange flower, and pear. It is so good. I love jasmine. Oh, it's so good. I also got Jason Wu, which is jasmine, pink pepper, and a silky musk. This one is also delicious, <laughs> right? Right on par with the kind of scents I tend to gravitate toward. I do see myself purchasing full bottles of both of those. And then the other two I tried are Commodity Velvet Negative, which has top notes of clove bud, rose petals, musk, and vanilla flower. And then the last one I tried is Commodity Gold Plus, which has amber, sandalwood, and vanilla. And right now is a great time to try it out because Scentbird is offering 55% off your first fragrance if you click the link down in the description box and use code HarleyG at checkout. So it comes to about $8 for your first <gasps> Vile. Huge thank you to Scentbird once again for making this video possible. But now let's get back into the plants. Wow, this is the fullest it's looked. Don't yeah. you think? It doesn't look really full. And they don't look dead like they have. You gotta <gasps> inspect the Monstera for spots. Okay, hey, these monsters look really good. Buddy, where are you going? <laughs> look, this plant, Kai Kai, is called a monstera. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They've got these, I think, are called Dracaenas. Oh, a yucca cane. These are kind of looking sad. Guy? Okay, they've really upped their game. Ugh, spoke too soon. <laughs> wow. Crocodile fern? That's really cute. It's actually in a cute pot. Wait, what? <laughs> Look at how sad this bulldoze is. <laughs> That's about on par with what I was expecting. Oh, sad. <laughs> Look at that one. Is that sad? Sad, sad face. No, I'm sad, not happy. He likes it. <laughs> oh my gosh, this would be so pretty if it wasn't like that. Thirsty. Honestly, not too shabby. Oh, wow. Okay. This is probably the best plant here. I think it's a ficus Audrey. There are two in there. Sorry, the doors behind me are really loud. And it's in a cute pot. That's a really good plant. How much is it? There's no price. I don't know how much these are. 
Oh, $22.98. That's not bad, but there's nothing I'm gonna get. Yeah? There's more outside. House plants? <gasps> this is cute. Thrift damage though. Or spider mites? Oh yeah, spider mites. Same over here. Mm. Dude, there's spider mites crawling all over this. They're all over. Yeah, that's gonna be no for me. And they're all <laughs> mixed together. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Leave them there. So everything was covered in spider mites and thrip damage. So even if I found something, I wouldn't have bought it. That sucks. You could literally see them crawling all over everything. Even Ryan could see them and he doesn't even know. <laughs> That's not fair. I know, I saw them. Here. Say Home Depot. Oh, well, oh. Can you watch where you're walking? Oh, that's cute. I might actually buy a plant. That's cute, huh? Do you like it? I, I love it. Whoa, let's put that back. Thank you, buddy. Okay, come here. Yep, it's a triangle. Yeah. Holy cow. This one's fake. How do you know? Okay. Yeah. You gotta inspect them all. Holy cow. Holy cow. It's Oh, Ooh, palm. Oh, it's like poking him in the eye. <laughs> what is this? Oh, that's cute. It's an aglionema. Is it focused? Is that cute? You know, I have a thing for skinny long leaves. I think I might get this one. We'll look more. Okay, come here. Let's go look at more plants. Gosh. <laughs> okay, but you can't run away. You have to stay by me, okay? Will you hold my hand? No. Okay, then I'm not gonna let you down. <laughs> look. What is that? I Are they plants? Wait, Ryan, let's do a little thing. What? Okay, so there's a few plants that I'm actually interested in. I'm gonna show them to you, okay? Yeah. Don't look. One. Come here. Okay, he already saw this one. This aglionema. It's cute, right? Yep, Aglio Nemo. Yeah. Okay, next is this one. I forget what it's called. That's a Ventura Delalucia Brasia. <laughs> Probably. Oh, it's a Caladium Xanthos, Xanthos, the Soma. That's what I said. I just think it's cute because it looks like, oh no. <gasps> no! Spider mites. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I knew it. I'm not getting anything. They're mealy bugs. See, that's what I said. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. Does that mean all the plants are infected? I just wouldn't risk it. Oh yeah. So that means I'm not getting anything. Um, I guess Kai picked this Raven ZZ out. 
we're not getting it. And the only other plant I was considering is a Calathea mosaica, mosaica, I think. Mosaica, I'm pretty sure, mosaica. The one with like the little stripes and everything. I think it's cute. Doesn't this plant look cool? Whoa. Actually, huh. it's a pretty cool pattern. Yeah, I probably would get this one. Look up. Hey, mama. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, this Fatonia looks really nice. Look at his Want, want. Look at his little chair. Do you think somebody was doing propagation bins? I don't know. Hmm, I'm really sad about this. So my question is, these are Kalanchoe flowers. They're so cute. Why do they feel like they need to glue fake flowers onto things when the real ones look like this? Huh? I don't get it. Oh my gosh, shut up. Are they freaking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> look, right, right? Oh, oh. <laughs> That is ridiculous. <laughs> Where? The tall one. Okay, do you think that the googly eyes or the glued on flowers are worse? <laughs> What's more ridiculous? Hey, show everyone. Tickle, 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 Rainer. That's cute. Yeah. No. Okay, I think we're done. We're done. You guys know I love, I'm not a succulent person, but I love cool aloe varieties. And I really think this one's cute. This is, what is it called? Altman star aloe, maybe? Something like that. I don't know what it is, but I think it's so cute. It's right up there with um, coral fire, in my opinion. So like I said, I'm not getting any plants here for the mealybug reasons, but I love this. That's cute.